Okay. I'm James Frisbee. I'm the manager of the uh, Bradenton Juice. Actually, we, we call ourselves the Traveling Juice now. We've been a uh, road team for uh, uh, about two and a half months now. We played uh, four games at home in Bradenton, and it just uh, things didn't work out with the college, and so we um, decided to become a road team this year. It's, it's been fun, interesting. What a road team is, they're like casual fan, maybe doesn't know. Like, you, know you guys have been like basically on the road in a bus for, you know. Yeah. A road team, you know, when, when that happens to you, it means you play every game um, in everybody else's home park for the whole summer. It means you don't have a home home base. You spend your time on the bus, traveling around, and uh, you get some home games technically, but you're at, you're at the other team's park. So, you know, being a road team is, uh, you know, it's challenging. It makes you grow up, I think, as a, as a manager and as a player. You know, toughest probably season you'll ever go through. What, uh, so basically everything the Peanuts have gone through, like, you know, going to fields with no clubhouse and all the long bus rides, like, that's just all you guys do. Yeah, that's that's part of our um, part of our day, you know. Our, our, our thing is, uh, our saying this year so far has been what else, <laughs> you know, and what else can happen to you this summer. But the bottom line is, you know, you're, you're playing professional baseball. You're ch you know, I have a chance to manage professional baseball, and it looks good on your resume. It's an opportunity that a lot of guys would, even though you're on the road every day, a lot of guys would love to have. So from a day-to-day -day standpoint, though, like you know, how how does it affect the players to be on a bus that much compared to like having you know like a, a homestand or something? You know? I think what I've noticed is you know we can we can compete with anybody this year, um, but we can also get blown out with the best of them. And and what I call it is sometimes it's a second day hangover to where you'll you know that first day you'll show up and, and you'll have to head to the field that day and you'll play and you're playing with a lot of adrenaline that day. But it seems like that second middle day has been days where we would really kind of fall apart if we were going to and I think it's just because the traveling would catch up with the guys and and uh, so that second game sometimes we'd go out and not play very well and then the third night we, we would play a lot better and, and uh, then you'd get on the bus and head to the head to the next town. Okay. How old are you? Just I'm 35. Okay I mean as like a, a relatively young manager I mean how do you feel about uh, you know Wally and, and you know his, um, do you look to, to the way he manages kind of like for pointers and stuff on you know? Mm -hmm. What do you think of Wally as a manager? Oh, I think he's he's the best one around. I mean, I, the guy should be in the big leagues as a manager right now. Um, I've been around big league guys before, and uh, he's the most impressive big league guy I've ever been around. He he knows what he's doing. The players love playing for him, and uh, yeah, I study. I study everybody I I manage against. I study. Um, Chris Bandel is another guy in our league that I really have a lot of respect for, and, and I watch those guys particularly. But uh, Wally's just got a way about him that uh, you know you, you just. You think the guy, you know, he deserves a shot at being back at the level that, that he should be. And that, that, to me, that's in the major leagues. Okay. And uh, I know there's been some problems recently with some unpaid bills with buses and hotels and stuff. I mean, do you, no you notice that as you go along in the season, there just seems to be some stuff that, you know, needs to be uh, dealt with a little bit better? Well, I think, I think the, f the first thing is when you have a first-year league, you're going to go through growing pains. And, and all we all have. Um, but, you know, I think that's one thing that... Um, you try to keep out of the clubhouse a little bit. You just try to keep guys focused on playing. I think we probably dealt with it more than anybody because we are a road team. And uh, at times it's been hard to, to try to keep the guys, you know, positive. But the bottom line is, you know, they're getting paid to, to play the game that they love to play. And road team or not, there's a lot of guys that would, would uh, just love to be a, be a professional player. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Thanks. Thanks.